So, I did this um, review of a True Blood episode, the last True Blood episode for the season, and I wanted to do that before the new series comes out in 2014, mid-2014, I think, next year. And, um, yeah, it's a pretty shit quality video. It was one of the first videos that I've ever made, so deal with it. Technology is not my friend. And, yeah. But, on a side note, I wanted to make a second video to talk about midgets and Christmas. Now, if anyone else has had an experience where at Christmas time they've seen some midgets and it's freaked them the fuck out, let me know, because that's happened to me. A couple of fucking times, actually. It's happened to me. And it's gotten to a point now where I have been threatened with a box cutter. Yeah. Mm hmm. But last year, last year or the year before, I think it was, I was in the Maya Center and I was going upstairs to look at some Christmassy shit. And as soon as the fucking elevator doors, I mean, yeah, the elevator doors open. There's tinsel up your ass, it's everywhere, there's fucking beautiful fucking 50 foot Christmas trees in store, all decked out and shit, and what's walking towards me? A fucking elf, dead set serious, and he's got his bag, and he's packed, and he's ready to leave, and it's like he just fucking walked off a set of fucking a Christmas video, and obviously he's been working there all day or whatever, but it fucking just freaked me the fuck out, I'm like, it's an elf! What the fuck? And he's looking at me like, I, you know, I have... This is probably a disability. I have some chromosomal thing happening right now and you're being very fucking disrespectful. And I was like, fuck man. I was really stoned. I was like, I can't fucking handle this concept at all. Yeah, so, and then last year, I think it was last year, I was in Toys R Us. And, you know, I've learnt from the prior experience. Don't fuck with midgets, you know. And I got really bad luck after that. Really fucking bad luck. I reckon if you fuck with a midget, and I don't mean sexually, I mean in general, if you piss them off, you will have bad luck. Bad juju. No, not good. Don't fuck with them. Anyway, so I learned from my experience. And last year I was at Toys R Us picking up some Christmas presents for my daughter and shit. And what comes up to me? Rather, who comes up to me? That was pretty rude. A midget. What is up to me? To the cash register and I'm like, oh, fucking Christmas time again with the midgets. What the fuck is this one going to do to me? Like, mm -mm. so, you know, I was really nice. And I said, I deliberately went out of my way to be fucking nice to this midget. And I said to him, how are you? You know, like, and he said, good. And I'm like, oh, good. So are you just here for Christmas or what? And he looked at me and he just shot these dark eyes at me. And he's just like, what does that mean? And I'm like, are you just, you just have work over the Christmas period, you know, like, are you a Christmas, I meant, are you like a Christmas casual, you know, like, making fucking chit chat, not, are you fucking here directly from the North Pole, you short little elf looking cunt, serve me, you know, and I'm going to give you shit about it, and that's obviously what he fucking thought, because he's just like, yeah, cool, get fucked, haha, <laughs> right, and then I'm like, okay, well, can you just bring out my, you know, my boxes that are out of the back for my kiddies, I am. Mm -hmm. And then he fucks off and he doesn't come back for 45 minutes. I'm standing there and I'm asking these other random cunts to come and pass. I'm like, what happened to the little dude? Like, where's my shit? I look to the side and I see him down in a fucking aisle. Right? So I go around and talk to him. I'm like, where the fuck? Maybe he's got my boxes up, like, you know, in that aisle or some shit. So I go down there. Right? And he just looks at me and shakes his head. He's just like, that really disappointed. Like, she's going to try and have a go at me again, look. Totally excluding the fact that I've asked him for these boxes and he's just fucked off on me. So he walks away, down the next aisle, goes that way. So I go that way, to the end of the other aisle. Can't see my fingers, so I go this way, to the end of the other aisle. And he's there, at the end of this aisle, and he gets a box cutter out of his fucking little midget pocket and flicks it at me. And looks at me like, come on, current, I've had enough. What the fuck? You know, maybe I should just deliberately fucking drop kick the next one that I see. Maybe I'll have, you know, like, maybe it'll be like two positives equaling a positive or whatever. I don't, <sighs> look, because it didn't work when I tried. I tried, you know. Yeah.